On July 15, 2005, Johnny Depp and Tim Burton gave us a dark and mysterious twist on a beloved classic. But more importantly, July 15, 2005, we were blessed, blessed, with the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory video game. <laughs> this is so stupid. In the game, you play as Charlie Bucket, a poor 11-year-old British boy who, when faced with a $10 bill, would rather spend it on chocolate than feed his dying family. But it works out for him, as in that chocolate, he finds Willy Wonka's final golden ticket. I did the math. The odds of Charlie finding Wonka's final golden ticket um, the, low, are low. The odds are low. So he finds the final ticket, and he claims the last spot on Wonka's factory tour. Joining him are the following other contestants. Augustus Gloop. He likes chocolate. A lot. Violet Beauregard, world record holder for the longest time chewing a single piece of gum. Mike TV. Likes violent video games and, uh, well, TV. Veruca Salt. Bitch. Enough yapping. Let's play. We just started and I already want to punch Charlie in the face. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is insane. Oompa Loompa work. Oompa Loompa info. Oompa Loompa follow. Oompa Loompa wait. Canonically, Willy Wonka owned little dwarf slaves that would get paid in cocoa beans in exchange for making the chocolate. I don't have a funny joke for that. I, it's just crucial to the story, so I figured I'd tell you. Hello. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> Oompa Loompas act as our servants in the game, operating machines, fixing pipes, uh, working out. They each have different jobs and can do different things. And God, aren't they just adorable? Put that down. We don't need the... <laughs> I love that I just have little guys. While they do sometimes get in the way. Okay, dude, move, 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 move. Ah! And their pathfinding is less than ideal. Get the Wonkavite. Get the Wonkavite. Guys, get the Wonkavite. Mr. President, get down! They're just so darn cute, you can't stay mad at them for long. Usually. Put it in the thing. No, don't give it to me. Put it in the thing. No! Within, and I shit you not, two minutes of entering the factory, Augustus Gloop falls into the chocolate river. This is where we learn the plot of the game. 11-year-old Charlie Bucket basically has to save all these children from, like, incredibly near-death situations. Why isn't Wonka doing this? I feel like it's, like, his responsibility and not a child who's never been to this factory before. Am I, am, am I crazy? Am I crazy? Don't answer that. Am I crazy? Don't answer that. Oh, shit. Oh my god. Eh. Can I kick it? Yes, yes. Oh. Alright. Hello? Hello? While plugging up these holes with the little vine balls, uh, I found a little uh, game skip I think you might be interested in. Check this out. Holy shit! Yeah, I'm a gamer. We continue our journey to the jelly bean room where Augustus is still stuck. <laughs> Holy shit, this room is huge! The jelly bean room has a lot of broken piping and machinery. Uh, this is where our welder Oompa Loompas come in. <laughs> this is the first time I had to use my brain. If you know me outside of YouTube, you know that this is not my specialty. <laughs> so, can I switch you guys out? Wait, where the fuck are you going? Okay, I'm assuming we need the candy pults. Is that what it, Yeah, the candy pults need the Wonka Vites. It's gonna be a chain reaction. It's gonna be a Wonka Vite chain reaction. I'm assuming. Oh, 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 oh. I see you, little man! <laughs> I really- I'm a bet. I'm a gamer, guys. I'm a better- I'm a better gamer than this. Do I do anything with this? I just had an idea! Ow! Fucker! And with that, we've saved a life today. And now let's do that four more times. Oh, dude, the squad has pulled up. Willy Wonka then takes us to a room full of broken candy machines and asks us to fix it. And somehow, we managed to fix every single machine that Willy Wonka, the guy who made the machines, cannot fix. 11 years old, by the way. <laughs> what? 
I'm sensing some unethical business practices. Just give it a lick and toss it at your feet. You can roll around in it all day. What? Oh! <laughs> yeah, baby. Get out of my way, little men, please. Oh no! She's a big fat blueberry! Who could have seen that coming? Me, I've seen this movie before. Anyway, we gotta take her ass to the juicing room. Sounds dangerous. Whoa! Yes! Poor Violet. We never saw her again. Oh, oh fuck, okay. Everyone's waiting in the nut room. The nut room? You know what happens in the nut room, baby. Pain. Pain happens in the nut room. Oh shit! Yuck! <gasps> Dang! No, pick up those squirrels! Before we get into the torturous hell that was the nut room, let's talk about Charlie's special abilities. For starters, our only main attack is throwing gobstoppers. The aim on them is just horrendous, which you'll see in this upcoming section. No, uh, no, 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 Charlie. But as we save each kid, we gain a special ability. As of now, we have the vine ball attack, which turns one specific enemy into a ball of vines, the wriggle worms, which distract the same one specific enemy, and now, all of the sudden, we have an impenetrable hamster ball that destroys everything in our path. So that's huge. Why do they call it the nut room, you ask? <laughs> I'll tell you why. The nut room puzzles were easy. All I had to do was throw a gobstopper at these little spinny things, thus pausing the conveyor belts for a moment so I could get to the other side. But unfortunately, Charlie Bucket has the aim of a goddamn stormtrooper. Someone did not line these up very well. What the fuck's going on in here? Oh look, another candy crate. It's a squirrel crate. Oh, okay. The squirrels don't always cooperate and sometimes have to be stunned to get them to go into it. This part probably made me the most mad. The Oompa Loompa pathfinding failed me a lot and the squirrels practically one-shot you. Alright, after no joke, 19 minutes, we finally collected all 10 squirrels. What did that do for us? I hear you asking. Oh, well, I'll tell you. <laughs> Alright, baby, give me the squirrels. We do it again, but this time, I've got a bit of a rhythm going. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you like that? You like that? Oh. Oh, you like that? Hey, Mrs. Bucket, you like that? You like that? You like that? Okay. Thank God that's over, because now it's time to save Veruca Salt. Where is she? Well, she's in the incinerator, of course. Come here, little girl. I'm here to save you. Ooh, that was smooth. Um... Sorry, I thought the game just crashed. As a little treat for cleaning up the squirrels, Wonka gives us a bottle of fizzy lifting drink. Now, what I'm about to say may shock you. But the fizzy lifting drink is one of the coolest video game mechanics I have ever seen in my life. Is it the most helpful? No. Is it the most powerful? Hmm? The most easily obtained? No, 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 no. But is it really, really fun? Yes. Look at this shit. <laughs> He's flying. Wow, dude, this is actually, this is, can I be so honest? This is actually really cool. All right, it's time for another wacky Wonka side quest. And if you can believe it, we have to fix another machine. Can, can we pause for a second? Why am I fixing machines? I'm 11 years old. I, these shit, this shit is so dangerous. It's almost like you want the kids to die. This is the exploding candy room. Why do you make that? This part was brutal. Ah, fucking hell. Fixing the exploding candy machine? I, 
here's one word for it, dangerous, those robots can grab Oompa Loompas now, by the way. Don't worry about the robots, they can't hurt you. In order for the Oompa Loompas to fix the exploding candy machine, we had to bring each of them one by one through a complex maze of rainbow exhaust fumes. In this room, we need the welder Oompa Loompa to fix the machine, two Oompa Loompas to power the machine, and four Oompa Loompas to run the sweet cycles. You guys want to see my GameCube controller? Look at this shit. <laughs> Wonka then gives us our final special ability, exploding candy. Good thing it's not janky at all. What was it called? Exploding candy? How the fuck did I get up here? Okay. <laughs> As I'm sure you've noticed, each section in the game has gotten progressively harder. So I'm sure you can imagine Mike TV's section, the last section in the game, is gonna be the hardest, right? No. Mike TV leaps into the television beam, and honestly, I was excited to traverse the different channels that Mike goes to in the movie, but alas, as with all of these early 2000s games, I was met with disappointment. Oh no! No way I just got softlocked in the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory game. All we have to do is kill three robots, wait for their bodies to spawn a Wonkavite, uh, uh, remember that? Tell the Oompa Loompas to grab the Wonkavite as it's bouncing around, and then have an Oompa Loompa put the Wonkavite into the tractor beam. For a normal guy, this could pose as a challenge, but for a veteran gamer like me, I used 110% of my brain, and I came up with this amazing strategy. Check this shit out. Yeah! You're out of here, big guy. Oh. Can you step in my goo, please? What? What? <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? God. I'm getting tag-teamed in the Willy Wonka game! After a few waves of this, I was literally done with the game. Wonka gives Charlie the factory, which is insane if you think about it, and that was the end of the game. The 2005 Charlie and the Chocolate Factory video game is annoying. The kids are annoying, the rooms are annoying, the Oompa Loompas are perfect in every way, but their pathfinding is annoying. Every time we earned a special ability, something was wrong with it. Everything about this game was just annoying. The game really suffers from a bad plot, which I can break down into two objectives. Save the naughty children who don't deserve to be saved, nor is it our responsibility. And two, make sure that the machines are up and running and fix them, which we never really had a hand in to begin with. The Oompa Loompas fixed the machine. Why couldn't Wonka just be like, fix that machine, boy? They expect Charlie to fix candy-making machinery. You know what I knew how to do at 11 years old? Ride a bike. Really, this game's only redeeming quality is the childlike whimsy. And even then, I broke something in pretty much every room, and I can't imagine a 10-year-old beating this game. The children suck, Willy Wonka's evil, and Oompa Loompa shall reign supreme. What more can I say? This game gets a 4 out of 10 Wonka bike. Well, that's it for the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory video game. If you're still on the fence about subscribing, <laughs> don't take my word for it. Take an Oompa Loompas. Subscribe to Preston DePonte. He's a YouTuber. Thank you so much. Still not convinced? Well, I guess I'll have to serenade you, Wonka style. Come with me and you'll be in a world of sugary liminal spaces Unconscious squirrels, boys and girls Who I'd like to punch right in their faces To begin, get sucked in To a tube that looks to be filled with poopies One blows up, one shrinks down and one's just a bitch. I got this code at Savers for half the price. They had a sale on women's jackets. If the Oompa Loompa thick, I'm finna tap it. My back has hurt for weeks. Please someone crack it. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good.